welcome to our new video on microsoft azure penetration testing so this will be a best guide for you here i'm going to tell you a little bit things about how we can do penetration testing the azure service because right now this is very important there's a lot of demand in cloud computing there's a lot of demand for cloud penetration testers so i must presume you are going to continue with me for the whole video and if you like it then just press the like button so let's start so what is azure first of all this is a very important question so basically azure comes from microsoft this is simply called microsoft azure if you go through with the google answer then basically it states that microsoft azure is a cloud platform that offers a wide range of service to its users it's used by organizations all around the world for a variety of regions however as with any other system azure is not immune to attack so that's why it's important to perform a penetration test on your azure infrastructure on a regular basis in this video we'll discuss how you can go through performing penetration testing on azure services and what you need to consider before starting so this is what we are going to cover in this video first we will go through with what are the things that we need to consider before starting then we will move through with setting up your azure environment then we will focus on what to test on azure like we are talking we need to do penetration testing on azure the main question is what to test on azure now the next thing is after that we need to focus on how to perform penetration testing on azure and at last we'll conclude this video so let's start with the first point which is what to consider before starting so there's a multiple parameters there are a couple of things that we need to focus first thing is the scope of the test you need to make sure what are the scope of the test so at first you must decide what you wish to examine and what shall be excluded from the test so for example if you're only interested in testing the security of the virtual machine then you don't need to test the security of the storage account at the same time there is also importance of time frame as here you can see so you also need to decide how much time you have for the test and what need to be done within that time frame after that resources is very important so you need to focus that you will need to access to azure account for the test so make sure you have enough resources allocated beforehand like for sure if you're going to do penetration testing on anything any uh, apart from cloud as well you need some sort of resources so before starting you need to make sure you are having the specific thing with you or not after that team members will be also going to play a vital role so the main question is who will be performing the test so you'll need to team of skill testers who are familiar with azure cloud compute as microsoft azure how the things work and what is the penetration testing methodologies how to do this also you can create a checklist for it as well after that testing methodology so here what methodology will you be using for the test so there are many things you can test for through penetration testing so choose all that is necessary now last thing is reporting the question is how will you report the result of the test so make sure you have a method in place to collect and store the information now that you know what to consider before beginning so let's proceed with the next part so this is setting up your azure environment so this include creating an azure account and allocating resources for the test once you have created an account you need to create a test environment so this can be done by creating a new azure subscription or using an existing one you can use a trial as well for the testing purpose only so if you are using an existing subscription make sure you have enough resources allocated for the test and you also need to set up some best penetration testing tool and resources for the test so these include a penetration testing toolkit as well an azure account and access to resource you want to test now that your environment is set up so let's take a look at what you should be testing for so we just talk about we are just hearing that there's a lot of penetration testers those who are testing the azure service those who are testing the google cloud and multiple uh, platforms as well now the main question is what they are testing for what to test for 
on Azure. So there are many different aspects of Azure that you can test, but here are some of the most important ones that I'm going to tell you in a few couples of minutes. So first thing is security of the virtual machine we are testing for. To make sure your virtual machines are properly configured and secured, test for things like weak password, open ports, and vulnerable software. So these are things that you can focus during security of the virtual machine. Now next thing is security of a storage account. So this is very important because everything is getting stored into the storage account. So test the security of your storage account by trying to access them without proper authentication. Also check for the things like data leakage and unauthorized access of your data. So you can test this thing in the security of your storage account. Now the very important thing is security of network. So make sure your network infrastructure is secured by testing of things like weak password and vulnerable stuff. This will also play a vital role in all the scenarios. Now next thing is security of application. So test the security of your application by trying to access them without proper authentication. Also check for the things like data leakage and unauthorized access. Make sure your web application are properly secured. You can also test for a couple of things like SQL injection, cross site scripting and session hashing. Another thing is you can test for security of Azure resources. So you can check that your Azure resources are properly secured and not exposed to the public as well. Now the next important thing is security of database. So make sure your database are properly configured and secured. Test for things like weak password, open ports and vulnerable software. So these are the things that you can test on Azure services. Now, like we know what we need to test, how we need to test. Then the main thing is like we are having very small idea how to do all these things. Now the main question is how to perform penetration testing on SEO. So I'll give you a small insight about it. The rest, it's all on you how you are implementing the things. So you can also follow any method you like, but do include the basic steps that I'm going to tell you. So the first thing as always is discovery. So the first step to discover the SEO resources you want to test. Use a tool like Bobsuit to intercept a network to search for them automatically or manual entry into the address. This is first work you can do in the first stage. Now second thing is mapping. So once you have found the resources, you need to map out the environment. This includes understanding how the resources are interconnected and what each ones do. Next thing you can look for the attack. So now it's time to start attack. So this is where you'll use your penetration testing skills to find vulnerability in the system and you can exploit it. Now next thing is um, reporting, which is also the very important thing. So once you once your test is completed, you need to report your findings. This include documentation of the parts, documenting all the vulnerabilities you have found and how they can be exploited. Now the next thing is resolve and retest. The final step is to resolve the vulnerability and retest the system to ensure that they have been fixed. So these are the things that you can uh, how you can perform the pen testing on Azure. Now so these are the things that I would like to tell you and now let's come to the conclusion part. So yeah that's it. You now know how to perform pen test and testing on Azure. Uh, if you follow up the step that I told you, you'll be able to find the uh, exploit any any vulnerability in the system as well. Just remember to take into account the things we discussed in the first step and you'll find. If you are not currently performing pen testing on Azure, we are to start today because this is very important thing. So I hope you learned all the things. If you enjoyed this video, if you got something insightful, then make sure to like this. A video and you can also put up your feedback so that we can get some more values how we can create the further videos so thanks for watching this video have a great time have a great day have a great day. best of luck for your future